Hello and welcome back to Love and Romance Tarot Readings. I'm super excited to get into today's pick a card because today's reading is going to be a very detailed love prediction to see who is coming in and when, what is coming up for you in love. So really getting back to the basics to see, you know, a detailed uh, overview of what you can expect to come through in romance. So my Etsy shop is linked in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. That is where you can find me and pause the video if you need more time with the piles. We have group one with the yellow stone. Group two with the red stone. Group three with the purple stone. And group four with the white stone. So like I said, you know, pause the video, take as much time as you need, but we're just going to get started. Alright, if you chose group one with the yellow stone, this is your reading. We're using the star tarot for you guys today to really get a detailed love prediction for you. So let's just jump right in. Spirit, this is for group one with the yellow stone. What is happening for group one in love? I just specifically heard what is going on right now, um, which is very interesting. I'm like, okay, what's the deal with the, with the specification? What's the deal with the wording? And then we have playfulness and make the effort that comes out. So right away, Spirit is telling me that you're kind of trying your best at this time to be open and f flirty and you know, playful with people as best as you can. Um, there's an energy here of you maybe turning over a new leaf and trying something different in love. There's an energy of usually maybe you guys aren't so vulnerable or open. Maybe you're more introverted naturally or when it comes to romance specifically. I know a lot of people like that where it's like they will be outgoing as hell with their coworkers, with their family, with their friends. But as soon as it comes to someone they're interested in, it's damn near like you're dealing with a different person. So if any of you are like that as well, um, that may be what's going on here. But again, I'm getting this energy of you guys trying something different. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and true love, so that's giving me an energy of you just trying to be kind of straightforward with people, and it's like they're either open to it or they're not, but you're kind of like letting people know like when you start to feel something, it's not like right away like, oh, I'm feeling you and doing the most, but it's like once you know or you're pretty sure that you are interested in someone, you kind of let that known. You don't go into playing games mode or trying to get them to chase you, anything like that. It's kind of really just straightforward. Um, these days we have playfulness and make the effort. Playfulness says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So you guys may have gotten out of a hermit mode recently. This is giving me like an energy of you guys kind of like putting yourself back in the mix and being open again. Like it says to recapture romance. So there's an energy of you kind of going into hermit mode or really not focusing on love, focusing on money, career, life purpose, family, uh, whatever it is chilling, relaxing, spending time with the earth, whatever your personal journey has taken you on, there is an energy of you shifting back into, okay, I'm romance minded now. So I'm actually setting intention for what it is that I do want to come through. Make the effort says great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So there's like a heart chakra awakening or a new level of uh, vulnerability that you guys have stepped into recently. We have heart to heart conversations and true love honestly discuss your feelings with each other is what it says at the bottom of true love or sorry bottom of heart to heart conversations true love says this is a romance of a lifetime so there's an energy of you guys being uncomfortable with being vulnerable but still pushing yourself because it's like if i don't allow myself to be open i'm gonna miss out on all opportunities like if i keep this such a closed door if or if i remain too rigid um i it hasn't gotten me anywhere so i'm gonna try something different so like I said, right away, Spirit made that specification. This is the energy that they're intentionally being in right now. And um, it's causing ripple effects. So, Spirit, what is the ripple effect? I mean, this is clear as day. We have new love and humility. 
at the bottom of humility it says selfless in all ways so it's it's kind of like an energy where it's like any reasonable person would totally agree that wearing your heart uh, on your sleeve is is uncomfortable you know being vulnerable and telling people how you feel even if you genuinely feel like people should meet you halfway or people should give you a little bit more first like if you're looking for a reason to say like okay I'm gonna stay in my shell you probably found it at this point but you just weren't happy with how things are going in love and you've clearly opened yourself up here so spirit is making it clear this humility is causing new love to come in we got humility and new love so if you're in the beginning of that process or you're really toying with the idea lean into that because it's having positive effects a brand new love connection is what it says at the bottom of new love spirit what is coming in for group one in love what is happening Ooh, we got meeting at the bottom of meeting it says a chance encounter so there is an energy here of you guys meeting someone new um, a chance encounter sounds really faded and it sounds like someone really special it, it feels like you finally worked your way out of that past energy that you were in for a while oh my god that's crazy the card literally slipped through the crack and went under the table you guys can't see that but and we have deep level here yeah so there's like this energy of you meeting someone specific because you put yourself in a very specific frequency um, there's a lot of magnetism and attraction in your spread we have new beginning and deep level so this connection this person will be uh, noticeably different than people that you've dated in the recent past Deep level said, says deep uh, love-based connection. Ooh, I like that. And new beginning says a fresh start in love. Deep love-based connection. So you may have had a lot of like uh, physical intimacy related connections or surface level connections where it's like, I like you, but there was always a but. I like you, but uh, I'm not ready. Or I like you, but da, 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 da. And uh, with this one, there's just, there's no buts. There's just like, I like you and I'm going in to this connection just like you're going in to it. Open hearted, moving forward, all of that. Spirit for group one. What is coming up for them in love? Hmm. That's interesting. We have the Emperor in reverse in the hair fan. So you may have always been attracted to like very masculine energy. Um, this could be masculine energy through like vampirism. You could have been into like vampires when you were younger and those kind of love connections where the person is a vampire so they have significant leverage over the human or people who were physically very like protective looking or overly protective very jealous um on a physical level though like you know m m like masculine and beefy like in the gym tone significantly taller than you uh, there's an energy of you being in the past interested in unequal dynamics where it's like this person could take me whether it's because they're a vampire whether it's because they stay in the gym whether it's because they're jealous and overprotective i there's like i don't ha i don't have as much fire as this person i'm gonna surrender when they get jealous or when they take control of the situation and now we have the hair fan which is very interesting because typically people who are attracted to the emperor it's like i don't know what it is it's like a cult like it's so hard for people to get out of that mindset of I need an emperor and for you guys it's like it may not, it may not be necessarily that you want someone uh, feminine because the opposite of you know like masculine energy in our society is actually not feminine energy but that's conversation for another day um, but it's like, you know, you've shifted, you want a hierophant, which is still masculine energy, but it's like the wisdom. Hmm. I just find that to be very interesting how your desire has even shifted. 
Uh, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. So this also tells me that you're not exactly uh, chasing though or like doing the most. Like you may not be on a dating app. You may be um, really using your magnetism, working on the connections that you already have in your life, not trying to find someone desperately that matches your frequency, but being open to it, being playful, you know, flirting with people and allowing things to kind of grow into something versus like, I'm specifically looking for something in a very intentional kind of way, like I'm putting myself on apps and things like that. Or going to happy hours, you know, to meet someone, whatever, whatever. There's like this energy of you being open and, you know, flirting and just whoever you come across. It's like you give them a little extra, a little sprinkle on top. Um, but it's not like super... I, the energy Seven of Pentacles is like you're still to a degree working on yourself and settling into this humility, settling into your root chakra um, or your sacral even settling into your own field like there's also this energy of um aura repair that you guys may be doing where it's like there's some holes in your aura some leaks uh still some things that are taking away your energy so still things that you're working on we have the five of pentacles and the ace of swords in reverse so i don't think that spirit is going to reveal to you what exactly is coming we already got one connection here but there's also this energy of spirit specifically not giving you communication anymore because maybe you've self-sabotaged in the past like maybe you got a reading you you saw that someone was coming in that person came in and then you self-sabotaged it a lot of people do that like they consider it to be a sure thing just because it's actually happening that they don't do what they would normally do if this was just like a truly chance encounter that they weren't aware of. Um, so I see spirit still kind of holding things back for, from you. There's also this energy of spirit not giving you confirmation just period. So I feel like on a life purpose level, you guys may be learning about, yeah, we have the six of swords here. You guys may be learning about like doing things without confirmation external externally we have the knight of pentacles and the empress in reverse so wow there is a work that you're still doing on yourself but also you don't fully identify as the emperor or the empress anymore like there's an energy of you needing to be more like you, you maybe have never even resonated with the empress archetype but just because it's like respected in tarot or respected in society like divine feminine whatever whatever you know it's something that of course you want to be perceived as you know what I mean? But not something that you necessarily resonated with or ever wanted for yourself or saw yourself being in. So that's very interesting too. We have the Six of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. See, the thing about the Knight of Pentacles is that it does take a while. Pentacles is slow moving energy, um, but it's worth the wait. So I see you guys as very much so in it. And it's like when you're in it, you can't see it. Like when you're in a toxic relationship, you don't realize how just how bad it was until you're all the way out of it because you're fighting for your life while you're in it. Or when you're in a bad job, it's like you find comfortability, you have a routine and it's like even when things happen that are shocking or like bad in the workplace, you don't even fully realize it until you're in a different workplace and you're like, holy crap, this is how y'all do things? That was so bad or until you're out of that situation. So right now you're in it. So there's a lot that you can't see. Um, I would work on your trust, your faith, your grounding. Really grounding with earth energy is really going to help you. I'm talking about meditating in sand, meditating um, in nature, in dirt. Really working on that root chakra. And also the solar plexus chakra. We have May and in the next few weeks, let's get a timeline. You may be born in May. Something something about May is an anniversary, I feel. Um, oopsie, and this is that. <laughs> I'm going to um, clarify with tarot. We have waited out for a better time. We have years, and we have within the next few weeks. Honestly, 
I feel like there's two different connections here, but for whatever reason, Spirit is not telling you about one of them. I feel like Spirit is not telling you about one of them because it's like, if you know that the person coming through is not the deep level connection, you may kick that person out of your life, but if they're a stepping stone to get you to the deep level connection and you don't take this opportunity to just transmute whatever karma or receive whatever it is that they're supposed to bring to you in your life, you may miss out on having this deep level uh, connection on time or sooner um, by not participating. That may be another reason why spirit is not really letting you know about who and what is coming in because you're like really dead set on what it is that you want. There's, and I feel that there's like an energy with you guys where it's like, I'm, if it's not exactly what I want, I'd rather completely just work on myself. So I feel like the years is coming from you kind of like pushing back your own timeline because you want it to happen in a specific kind of way if I'm being honest. We have May and then we have August. So something may have happened between spring and summer. It's raining outside, you guys can probably hear that. And we have Thursday here. What is Thursday ruled by? <clears throat> Spirit, can you give me some clarification on the timeline for group one? Yeah, we have the chariot. Uh -huh, yeah, it's like <laughs> I just heard no pain, no gain soon as I was about to say because it's like I want to do this in as a painless way as possible. I want to move forward, but I don't want to empty my cup to do so. I don't want to experience any pain to do so. I'd rather just be alone or work on myself. And if that's where you're at, then, you know, we all have free will, life choices. It's it's up to you. Like if you genuinely feel that way, that you'd rather just work on yourself, then you can do that. Um, we have the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Some repeating sevens coming up for you. Yeah, and that's the thing. We have the Seven of Pentacles and then the Seven of Wands specifically that came up for you. Those are both cards about a personal journey and like growing and still laying a foundation within yourself. So some of you guys feel like, I can't, I can't grow as a person and also experience a connection that's, that's just going to be another lesson or a waste of time for me. I can't do those. So I would say setting some intention and deciding what it is that you really want to do. Spirit, what is the best course of action for group one? I don't know you guys I get both sides I get spirit being like okay this is how we get there so let's go but I also get I need more time to literally just sit and chill we have truth illumination and inner peace and then we have wonders so spirit is saying I will surprise you if you allow me to um, in positive ways but I do feel like you should choose what feels best for you and you should move forward when you feel genuinely ready with that inner peace card because there's an energy there of spirit being like you being on 10 and experiencing everything in real time still isn't an ideal situation. So don't I don't know there's just there, it's tricky because I see you guys trying to be playful and flirt but also there is this internal energy of you not fully being ready you're having heart-to-heart -heart conversations and being honest with people and you're aligning yourself with new love and I do see new love coming through I do see some chance encounters coming through with the meeting card people are coming in your magnetism is working but I, I, I honestly, if I'm being truthful, I feel like there are still things that you need to learn in relationships specifically. Because you can work, 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 work on yourself, but that will not give you experience in relationships. And um, relationships require a high level of vulnerability. And there is a possibility that you will get hurt in a relationship. There's just like no way to avoid it. So as much work as you do on yourself, that will help you, I think, to get to know yourself, but also, like, man, when you blend worlds with a whole nother person, like, you don't know what will come up and trigger you. So if you have, like, you know, like, childhood trauma or relationship trauma, I would absolutely say sit it out because if that is still um, something that you operate from or something that affects you, it's better not to get involved. 
it's better not to get involved. You got to work on that first. But I do honestly, truthfully get this message of spirit being like, the things that are actually going to help you get in alignment with the partner that you want have to be experienced in a relationship, which is so interesting that new love and meeting came through. And it's like, yes, you're attracting new love, but what it is that you want and need will be revealed to you through another experience with a person. And I don't get an energy that <coughs> it's going to be toxic either. Because I've had plenty of like relationship situations, you know, with people where it's like I learned a lot um, and that that person didn't hurt me at all. And that's how I feel. So there is a there's you're you're open. The door is cracked, but it's not like wide open because you're still like, I don't want anybody to come through. There's still a level of wanting to control the experience. And spirit is trying to initiate you into full surrender, which is such a hard thing to do and a huge deal. So it's like, ugh. for me personally, I'm, <laughs> I'm like that with certain things too. It's like, okay, I'm open. Okay, spirit, I give them a little leeway, but this is, I'm not dealing with that, the foolishness. And, <laughs> or I'm not ready for like too much or ah, I don't like surprises. I don't want this. I don't want that. I want this. Okay. I'll allow a little bit of that, but I really want this. And, you know, spirit is kind of saying, I need room in, in your heart and your life completely to move so you can really get where you want to go. And that's honestly what I see for you right now. So we have illumination and truth. I do think that important revelations are coming. Um, and you are going to find a truth, but I also think that this is ultimately the truth and spirit is going to deliver it to you in a way where it's digestible, understandable, in a way that you can accept it and still feel a part of the process, still feel like you have a say and still feel like there's a sense of control, but spirit is going to work with you personally to like, it's, it's, it's a relationship, you know, spirit's going to find a way that we can open you and, and put you in position in a way that is at least doable for you so expect that to come but that's what I got for your love prediction group one my Etsy is below if you want a private tarot reading um, and that's what I have for you I'll talk to you soon all right if you chose group two with the red stone this is your reading we are gonna get into a detailed love prediction to see what's gonna happen for you. So let's see, Spirit, this is for group two with the red stone. <clears throat> Detailed love prediction, who is coming in, when, what will happen next in love for group two. <clears throat> oh, that's very interesting. I just heard big spender. Um, there's an energy here of you guys easily being depleted by your partners and I feel like it's because you may like to give gifts but the energy I get here is almost like people don't reciprocate because we have religious factors and then we have new love so I feel like there is a certain kind of person you're kind of phasing out in your, in your life when it comes to dating. Religious factor says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Religious factor says your love life is being influenced by a religious upbringing or a spiritual path. So there's an energy of people depleting you financially or maybe there's a question of does this person actually like me or do they just want my money? Do, are they just trying to gain things from me? There's an energy here of things not being reciprocated right off the bat some of you obviously it'll be more um <clears throat> more like as is like you've gone through a spiritual awakening or your religious beliefs have been making it difficult for you to date or you know you're not doing well financially so it's causing you to not really be able to invest the proper time in love but that is exactly how it came through for me right away <clears throat> Regardless, we do have new love here, so there is someone new entering the villa. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings is what it says at the bottom of this card. Um, oh, we have codependency. If I were to say, I would say that this person has already entered your life, and we have so many decks you can't see out of frame, so 
I'm sure even another person will come through, but I am feeling for a lot of you, there is a new person that you're interested in or someone you've grown feelings for. Um, and it may have started casual, like maybe you were just co-workers with this person, so obviously you didn't think that you guys were going to go into any romantic space, or <clears throat> you met them out and about, or on a dating app, through a friend, at an event, wherever, and you were kind of romantically interested, like, you know, you weren't necessarily in the market for new friends, maybe, but it did kind of grow into something romantic. Regardless of the situation, though, I feel like... We have addictions are affecting your romantic life. That's what it says at the bottom of codependency. It could be your codependency or your vulnerability from your past. <clears throat> That's kind of throwing them off. Um, and it may be better just... Yeah, it may be better just to walk away from that situation or start over on a new leaf or distance yourself from that person and be open to new love and allow them to come to you. <clears throat> we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal from the past you experience more love in the present moment I gotta be honest everything is aligning here from what I see because if you were codependent in your childhood or if you're codependent in your adulthood because of a lack of being able to depend on your parents in your childhood you could start to guarantee that you receive love later not even knowing it by showering people with gifts energy attention anything that's valuable it doesn't have to be like actual finances anything that's valuable free therapy gifts energy time <clears throat> understanding you could start your relationships pouring so 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 much into their cup and then it's like okay i'm empty and i need them to reciprocate but they don't show up that way for you because you've already created a dynamic that you give 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 and that's just who you are people aren't assuming that you're doing that to receive something they're assuming okay this is just who you are and then once it's like you know you get mad or your energy shifts or you start to pull away you start to treat them differently then they kind of start to paint you maybe as a manipulator like you're just trying to steal my energy because you did all of that just to get this from me and you're mad that i didn't you know reciprocate when you know we were like <laughs> you did that you chose to do that <clears throat> Regardless, I feel like there's an awareness that you have of your own self now that is breaking you free from this cycle. New love is coming in and you're forgiving yourself and past people. And it's really for your sake. It's not so someone else can feel good because, you know, it, it, the, you know how they say like all is fear and love and war. Maybe people did take it too far once you started to fight. And it's like better just to clean the slate than try to get them to answer to that because then it's just going to be the same cycle. Well, you started doing this and you got mad that I did this. So then I said that because you were coming at me for this. And it's just like pointless, you know, and, and, and you start to fight about the fight itself versus the, the actual issue or just starting over. So we have express your love, which I find interesting because um, it seems like. It seems like you've already been expressing your love, but I think in a weird way, maybe you were expressing your hurt um, through feeling like you had to overcompensate. So now you're being more fair moving forward and also you're being more communicative with people up front about who you are and what you need, which of course will cause certain people to walk away and say, okay, I, I'm not equipped to handle that. So I'm going to bow out before this even gets started. And that can be frustrating, but it's still better than building, like getting to a place where you've built an attachment to someone and then having them leave because they realize who you really are. And then they realize later that they still can't handle it and they leave. So I don't know. I feel like you guys have grown a lot of emotional maturity. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to say in a short period of time because I feel like something like this has been going on for years, but your awareness now of it is on point. Spirit, what's coming in for love for group two? Ugh. We have old crush and I do feel like um, there's an energy of you starting uh, over on a new leaf with someone. Ultimately, you did feel like there was an important connection to them and they are coming back. 
the energy that I get from spirit right away is like stop manifesting, stop sending them energy because you're enabling them to stay in that energy. Even if it's your thoughts and your energy and your magic that they're feeling energetically that's keeping them sitting tight because they're receiving something from you in some way. Completely pull all of that back as some of you have already started to do, some of you are already doing, some of you are thinking about doing, I would definitely follow through with that. <clears throat> this connection will come back and you will have an opportunity to have a new start with this person as you've been wanting to. <clears throat> now for those of you who would rather just completely start over on a new slate, even if you still have a lot of love for the person, if you just feel like too much has happened and you just don't want it, this will be an opportunity for healthy closure, which is beautiful because we all don't get that. We all don't get an opportunity to have the other person know, listen, I'm not interested in moving forward. You already know, of course, and then actually being able to move forward and not having to worry about something coming back at a worse time, like when you're involved with someone else or you've really started something important or whatever. So you'll be able to do with this opportunity whatever you want uh, with it, but a lot of you I, I do feel have been kind of waiting for this to come back. So that'll be nice Time spent in expectation at the bottom of waiting the bottom of loyalty says dedication to love and old crush says someone had a crush So this is someone uh, coming back who had been crushing on you and um, Wanting to build from there Spirit, what else is going on? And I, that's funny because I was just about to say that. I'm like, what else is coming through? Spirit, okay, we know about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they know what happened. Like, what else? And we have the meeting card at the bottom of meeting. It says a chance encounter. So we did get the verification. There is yet another person coming through. Wow, we got deep level. That came up for group one as well. What else is coming through? Wow. <laughs> uh, they do not want to let go. We have love-based transformation and deep level. At the bottom of deep level, it says a deep love-based deep love -based connection. Transformation, evolution, and love. Love-based says connection based on love. So if you have been physically intimate with people in the past, I feel like you're doing things differently. And you really have to be conscious about this so that you don't end up in the same spot cycle or the same spot you were last time. So make sure your actions are matching your intention. You intend to move forward differently in, uh, in the future. You intend to be less codependent, be more honest about who you are and what you need, and not to overcompensate so that you can make sure you receive it. Make sure you're actually doing those things. Also, there's two cards that keep emphasizing that this is a love-based connection. So if you've been physically intimate with people in the past and that's what's kept you guys like going, that's what the connection has been. The last few times you hung out with them, it was just about the physical intimacy. Um, Spirit is challenging you to not do that with people. I would say until you get a full commitment. And um, I'm not even talking about exclusivity. I'm talking about I am your girlfriend, I am your boyfriend, I am your partner. Especially if that's what you want. You know, you don't want to wait till a relationship till you're offered something to uh, to think about it because then you may be offered something and you could see it and then you go with it. You wanna set your intention first, like okay, I want a title. I don't wanna be exclusive with someone. If I'm gonna date someone or be intimate with someone, these are my requirements so that you can stick with that and versus waiting to really like someone and then they're kinda of offering you something that you know, you don't want, but because you didn't set your intention on what you wanted before, you go for it and then you just end up in this connection that doesn't serve you. Um, but we have apologies and focus. So I see you guys working through some, um, I see, I see you guys working on like through understanding each other, actually being honest and apologizing things, working through any problems that arise. I honestly, I got a little bit of energy <laughs> from that. They're like a mole. I need to whack them, you know, whack them back, get them. <laughs> Like, just keep trying to come up in this reading and it's like, okay, we talked about you. We know what that is. Like, stay in your place. But I did get a little bit of their energy, um, but only if they have to, I heard, which is unfortunate that only if you require them to apologize, will they? So that just kind of shows you where that person is at um, emotionally. But uh, we have the focus card that came in as well. 
I'm um, zeroing in on the target is what it says at the bottom of focus so I feel like it's gonna be important for you to keep your eye on the goal um, and keep like your focus on what you're trying to achieve and where you're trying to go and what you're doing you know pay attention to yourself spirit six of coins five of cups seven of cups ooh now seven of cups is a card of having multiple options but five of cups is honestly like some lackluster offers so i do feel like some other people will come in what's really going to hook you is people are investing time and energy and what looks to be money into you um the fact that someone is you know bringing you flowers when they're picking you up for the date or when you meet at the restaurant the fact that someone is thinking about you um you guys have a conversation about something and you know you say oh Reese's Pieces are my favorite candy and then they come to your date with a Reese's Pieces like a gift for you it doesn't have to be something big it doesn't mean that this person is rich and that they're spoiling you with you know Louis V but there is an energy of this person like being thoughtful and also you getting some of that reciprocity so I love it we also have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands which is nice because there's a level of validation that's coming here through this person and their interaction with you it's like Wow, so I wasn't crazy. It's okay to give gifts, but just with, you know, uh, like, uh, intention, like, not to just do it just because, you know, not from a space of, I want to, you know, create this, this, this imbalance so that they have to now pour into my cup, so let me just fill theirs real quick. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Even if unconsciously or from a space, a low vibrational space of, I think this person is going to leave eventually, so I need to add value right away. I need to show them that there's value here right away. From a very healthy and thoughtful and um, just genuinely uh, friendly, caring kind of way. Very, very different here. We have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse. You may not be super, like, intimately attracted to this person, if I'm being honest, because Two of Cups in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse is like, I'm still not feeling good or I'm still hung up on the past. And maybe it has nothing to do with your attraction and everything to do with because like for me personally, I don't know if it's because I'm a water sign or this is just how it is, but like if I'm in a bad mood, something good can happen to me and I'm still going to be in a bad mood. You know, like I can't necessarily be cheered up, unfortunately. I have to allow my my feelings to fully process and then they will naturally go away, but I don't have really too many like um cheat codes or cheat ways that I could take to get out of my moods when I'm when I'm in a mood I just need to allow it to go and and it'll go eventually so you may be like that as well because interestingly enough even though you have such a deep level spiritual connection with this person a love-based connection with this person you can see with the transformation energy that this is different there's still this dark cloud over you and maybe it's just you know um something that you need to work on personally that has nothing to do with relationships or them because if the root of all of this has been through like childhood trauma or whatever that's something that you know even having a good relationship can't fix or make you feel good about you know so maybe I don't know you'll um, do some shadow work or go to talk therapy or something um, go on a spiritual journey to resolve that because it's like it's it's interesting like even though all this exciting stuff is happening to a wands you're still dealing with something else on the side there is something else that's still very much so pulling at your attention um, pulling at your energy so we have the seven of coins. It's it's definitely talking about a foundation that was built that was not ended properly. So that's like, okay, uh, I, I didn't resolve my relationship or my issues with my parents. I moved out at 18. You know, I, I moved out of the house, but that wasn't a resolution. That was just, you know, or that could be this person from the past. Like, I, well, I'm not in a relationship with that person anymore, but that something still doesn't sit right with me about it so whatever it is with you i think that your excitement will build um for the relationship once that is settled but i would say you know oh i didn't even pull from the cards of time let me get a timeline for you 
um, I would say just allow yourself to go through the motions because like I said if you're anything like me I mean you could come in with a bouquet of like you could come in with my favorite Thai food and I love me some Thai food and that's still not going to change my mood if anything it's going to piss me off because I also don't like to be pushed out of you know my my low moods into high moods because it's like let me freaking process so this doesn't come back don't try to just make me happy so we have don't wait um, spirit is saying fall into this now there are ways that you can fall into it now and even just setting your intention to fall into it now will bring more opportunities to lean in whatever it is on your mind you know maybe you're waiting okay I'm gonna wait until I'm in this relationship to do this or I'm gonna wait until they text me to make this decision or I'm gonna wait until it's here I'm gonna wait 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 spirit is saying don't wait and that's whatever it is that's on your mind Something may have happened when you were 17 or that may have been a very important time in your life where you experienced a lot of low vibrational energy or trauma. The 17th, you know, could be your birthday. It could be some sort of significant omen for you. Um, but we have don't wait in 17 that has come out. Spirit, what is the time frame for group two? We have 20 that came out as well 17 to 20 like from 17 years old to 20 years old may have been a really uh, hard time for you like financially I'm hearing but also emotionally I get an energy that this could come in very very soon for you guys um, we have days we have fall and then we have cancer season this video should be posted in when it is still technically fall i do believe so this could come in sooner it can come in later we got cancer season june 21st to july 22nd so i would say that's our range um your love life will significantly change by cancer season but we also have 14. i cannot shake that these are ages which is so weird because i never get that 14 17 and 20 something happened for some of you in these at, at like at these years these are markers and i just can't shake it and with that coming out with the don't wait energy um i do feel like spirit is saying don't wait to have the conversation don't wait to uh you know get into some sort of therapy that you can afford or that works for you or there's so many like uh resources online through youtube usually like you can find um therapists and things like that that talk about you know heavy hitting topics and then they usually have like some sort of little free course or something that you can take off of them so that's something but you can also find like just through looking on google different programs and things that are free just put free in front of it and you'll get a free worksheet or free um course about whatever it is you specifically need that spirit is telling you not to wait about but that's what I got for you guys, group two. My Etsy is below if you want a private tarot reading with me. That is where you can find me. But that is what I got for you today, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group three with the purple stone, this is your reading. Getting into a detailed love prediction to see who is coming in and when. Spirit, this is for group three with the purple stone. What is coming up for them in love? <laughs> we got keep an open mind and for some reason I feel right away that Spirit's been trying to get you to do that for a while. Spirit has been trying to get you to entertain like uh, either a different kind of person or a different ideal in love. You know, <laughs> you may have like a bound or like, mm, yeah, I guess boundary is the right word for it. You may have like a something about children. We have the children card here, but I, I always get this energy in two ways. The children card either represents literally children. So you may be um, closed off to dating someone with kids. Um, I also, though, get it in a way where it uh, signifies that there is significant development that someone is going through. And with keep an open mind, spirit is kind of saying, we do have pay attention to the red flags as well. With this children card, you may be dating people who are kind of capped 
at a certain level of emotional intelligence. And there may be one significant benefit that you get from people like this that really keeps you coming back for more, but also they never end up being able to fulfill you enough. Um, so Spirit is trying to get you to outgrow that archetype of person or that kind of partner. Yeah, and we got the separation card here as well. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I feel like you guys are in a no contact with someone who is not equally yoked to you. And you'll know what way they're not equally yoked. Or maybe you don't know. And Spirit is trying to really show you because a lot of times... It's like you don't realize how bad something was or how, to, how out of alignment something was until you experience something that's significantly better or totally different where it's like, holy cow. I was just giving group one that example where it's like, when you're in a workplace that's really bad, like you know it's bad, but you still create a routine like, okay, I'm gonna just listen to headphones when I'm at work or I'm not talking to anyone while I'm at work. Like you do things that make it doable for you. And then when you finally start a new job or work for a new company or just get out of that job, it's like, dang, you start to think of how crazy things were and what actually happened. And it's like, you have this like weird moment of, dang, that was so bad. When you're in it, you don't you can't fully perceive it for one because you're in it but also it's kind of like a defense mechanism you your mind naturally protects itself and won't allow you to see people or a job or whatever it is for what it truly is and i get an energy here where you're going to see in retrospect like how bad dating whatever kind of people you've been interested in or pursuing has been for you and it's going to be something you never look back you know to but it will require you to keep an open mind um, and, and open yourself up to these new options. So children, your love life is being affected by children, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You may also have kids of your own and spirit is telling you to be honest about having kids up front. And if people say that it's not something that they're willing to handle, like taking that, not because it's just like, man, there's no way that it like, I see so many women, so many single mothers being like, don't worry about it. I'll discipline him. I'll take care of everything, you know, or her. I'll, I'll take care of my child. You don't have to worry about it. It's just you and me. And then I'll take care of my child like I already do. But that's just unrealistic when you are trying to have a harmonious living situation. At some point, that person is going to have to step in to take care of responsibility to... Um, I think everybody's mind goes to like discipline <laughs> and that's really like the least of your worries. Like just the day-to-day -day stuff. Like when, for an example, if, if you have um, a work training out of town and that person has to take care of your child and wake them up and get them ready for school if that child doesn't have any respect or isn't used to own like uh listening to that person it's going to be a whole struggle to get this child to school on time because they don't have any act interaction with each other they don't have any routine any harmony it, it could cause your kid to be all thrown off like it's just not realistic you know to think that you can keep a home together but have like these separate relationships within the home so anyways um that could be something on your end like you have a child and the people you've been dating have not been open to that or you felt like you couldn't even tell them that because deep down you knew that they wouldn't be accepting of that and that's a cause that's that's capped what you could have in a relationship so we're breaking down those walls moving forward we got keep an open mind pay attention to the red flags and calling in your soulmate um, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So if you've created a mood board or if you've been watching um, even like romance movies or reading content that um, inspires you and makes you feel those feelings of love, you'd be surprised at how that can actually manifest a romantic connection in your life. But, um, you know, if you've created a mood board, uh, vision board, listening to subliminals, affirming, praying, whatever it is, you know, that you do for yourself, that's that's helping bring you to this partner. And I feel like in a way you've manifested them not even knowing because it's like, oh, I can't wait for God to bring me in, you know, my perfect match or, you know. You may say it in an unofficial way, like, you know, usually when we think of prayer, it's like getting on your knees, putting your hands in a, you know, what is this called? Anyways. You know, doing that and and it for you, it could just be something where it's like, God, please bring me someone who is not like my ex. And it's like, okay, now that person is finally being brought into your life. And uh, there's some sort of power struggle for acceptance or maybe trust. 
um, we have to pay attention to the red flags. The sign are, signs are cautioning you. So I feel like these situations are getting significantly worse. There could be money loss or physical fear of your partners. Like I feel like the experiences are getting more and more taxing to you. Your partner um, or previous partner could have kept you up at night. They could you know, have kept you from sleeping. You could have struggled with anxiety when you never had anxiety or depression or something like that. And Spirit is saying this is getting worse. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. So we have to do something differently before it goes seriously too far. Um, and we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So Spirit has been trying to get you more and more open to a certain kind of person, a certain kind of relationship. This could be a physical move for some of you. Um... We have options to a street in long term. That's interesting. You guys may have had multiple people that you were talking to to keep you from feeling like the weight of not being able to maintain a long term relationship with someone or you may go for people who are unavailable in some way um, because it it um, you know keeps you from being able to address the elephant in the room. Oh my God, this reminds me of, I don't know why I thought of this girl, but there's this girl that we, <laughs> there's this girl I went to high school with. Listen, she was busted. And so was I to be fair, but she was more busted, okay? And she was dating this dude who was in jail in high school, bro. And she would always be talking about mommy, 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 ah, ah, ah. And everybody would just be looking at her like, girl, shut up, like, don't nobody watch <laughs> Anyways, it just reminds me of that, like, you don't want to put yourself in a situation that <laughs> keeps you feeling like this is my choice or I still have what I want. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be a player or have options or be non-committal to avoid facing I have been ending up in relationships with people who are not offering me long-term commitment. And to be fair, this isn't even something you have to internalize because I genuinely feel that the reason that these people aren't offering you long-term relationships is less about you and more about they're, they're unavailable in some way. They could be in a pen, okay? They could be a jail. They could be, you know, I don't know, running the street. I don't know, okay? I'm not getting into the, <laughs> y'all know, I don't read for ghetto mess. I don't do all that that foolishness and craziness but spirit is trying to open you up to a long-term um connection in it for the long run is what it says at the bottom of long term at the bottom of options it says many different possibilities and at the bottom of two-way street it says everybody matters so i feel like you know you either maybe dated people who you knew you had to care more for or something about reciprocity it just wasn't equal and also dating multiple people so that you wouldn't always think about texting the person that you really, you know, want to talk to or be around. I'm busy tonight, so I don't feel bad about not being with my person that I want to be with this weekend because I'm busy, you know, doing this. Uh, we have new crush, new love, editing and reconciliation. I'm definitely going to clarify that. Um... New crush says someone has a crush. New love says a brand new love connection. So there is someone completely new coming in the picture. I don't feel like you have any history with them at all. Um, but then we have editing and reconciliation. Like I said, I'm about to clarify this and see what this is referring to. Cutting out what no longer fits at the bottom of editing. At the bottom of reconciliation, it says coming back together. Well, that's interesting. Cutting out what no longer fits with the editing card. Perhaps this is a karmic that has kept you um, in a cycle um, in life, you know, because it's crazy because if this is someone who say they live in a bad neighborhood because they don't believe in going to work, they don't believe in working, they don't have a lot of income, so they're staying in a bad neighborhood. If you like this person to be around this person, you may stay in that neighborhood as well, or you may frequently go to that neighborhood and make friends with people in that place. It's just natural. And then now they're influencing how you view the world and it's making you not want to go to work or it's making you see the world in a different way. I, I feel like if this relationship was off the table, if you were to fully let this go, you would physically probably move somewhere else. And we did have the separation card that 
came out as well. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon is what it says at the bottom of that. And for you, you may have in the past and even now see it as a timeout. Oh, we're just not talking right now, but it's not permanent. We always end up back together and spirit is trying to get you to say no. Let's let's edit this. Let's not get back together, but this person is coming back. Okay. Cool. Well, I didn't need to clarify, but I'll clarify just because but that's what this is like as you're editing and genuinely trying to open yourself up to new love or a new kind of person or follow, you know, the path that you've wanted to go on for a while. This person is coming back and that is something that is going to affect your future depending on what you do. So let's see. Spirit for group three. What else can you tell me about editing and reconciliation? We have the three of wands in reverse, so you likely won't expect that this person uh, is coming back. Um, it'll come; they'll come in as a surprise, or they will come in very differently than before. And you know what? Don't sleep on people. <laughs> like, don't don't sleep on people. Period. Because you'd be surprised at how intelligent people are and how they play on your view of them i've even had situations like that where it's like oh this person thinks i'm stupid or this person thinks i'm not about xyz and then they find out and then they find out and then they ever run and find out and so <laughs> with you guys <laughs> i don't feel like that's the case i feel like it's more like this person is completely concealing who they are and you're seeing them as someone who wouldn't have the capability to intentionally play you and you're seeing like oh this is just who they are they're not trying to play me but you guys you would be surprised you'd be surprised we got the hermit card too Ugh, that's that's definitely whoo this person knows how to play it Ooh, this person knows how to play it you guys that's dangerous right there and i don't feel like necessarily like physically dangerous but that's dangerous because this person is very 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 smart <laughs> people will play on your view of them as well remember that so don't be so quick to judge people or to assume that they're one kind of way because they'll allow you to think that so they can get whatever they want to get out of you you guys um but the hermit card is talking about some of you not entertaining that but I would say take it even a step further and tell that person, I do not want to be with you. This is completely over. Never contact me again and I'm serious. I would take it a step further because if you just ignore this person, they may not press you out right away. But you may see spam accounts following you randomly. Uh, you may hear something about them through the grapevine. They may show up like, you know, and surprise you and lay it on even thicker. Don't leave them space. Don't leave any space for confusion. Say what you mean and mean what you say. The only thing about this is though, a, major like, a lot of you really are on the fence and wanting to let this person back in. They're familiar. You still have love for them. So I think that's the difficult part. Like, how are you going to tell someone to have a conversation that they genuinely don't want to have or they're, they haven't decided that they're not dealing with that person anymore, you know? So it's like, ugh, it's kind of tricky. Spirit, what, what, what else can you tell me about group three in love? We have the king of swords in reverse and the five of swords in reverse. Something about communication, he said, she said, maybe even some third party energy. Um... With that, someone who is very slick, uh, you know, with the tongue, someone ooh, who haven't showed you a lot of respect either, seven of pentacles in reverse, someone who's not trying to build, someone who just doesn't want the life you want. I mean, even if they're not a master manipulator, this is like someone who just doesn't want the life that you want. And it's just that simple. So like, say you see yourself living in a beautiful house out of that neighborhood, out of that town, um, having XYZ kind of job, bringing in XYZ kind of income. Like say for an example, your goal is to bring in $250,000 total between you and your partner. When you guys are at your peak, you want to be making $200,000 between the two of you um in the future this person doesn't see that for their future so we don't even have to make them out to be a bad person or say oh you know they're manipulating because everyone's person isn't manipulating but they do know that that's what you want and they're not telling you that they don't want that either because that would make them sound crazy <laughs> to be like no i don't i don't i don't want that but you can see it in their values they don't value that they don't value the things that you value and they don't they don't want what you want Spirit, give me a timeline for group three. What is going on? I mean, honestly, 
there's two different timelines here there's this person coming back and then there's this new love that we didn't really get to go in on we have saturday and wednesday and then we have a libra season uh september 23rd to october 23rd is libra season Labor season may have been significant. All right. This person may have came back in Libra season. And uh, this new person may be coming through in Pisces season. Um, February 19th to March 20th, I would say. That feels right. We have in the distant future. Oh, we also have Capricorn season. So, oh, and November. You guys are going to be dealing with this for... For, I would say throughout the rest of the year all the way into early of next year for you to fully let go of this person and surrender to the new person but we got Capricorn season and it's funny because we got Libra season September uh, 23rd to October 23rd and then we got Capricorn season which is two seasons after that it would be Libra Scorpio and then Capricorn season I do believe but there's just like this energy of like the timelines kind of following each other. And then we have November here as well to cover November. So I do feel like between now, whenever you're watching this and Pisces season, significant changes are going to happen for you in love. We got Saturday and Wednesday, which will be significant. You'll see how in the future, but those came up as time markers as well. We got June that came up. You could be born in June. Or June could be um, significant in some way. We got the number 20. 2020 may have been significant for you. Um, and then we have in the distant future. I feel like an energy right now of spirit. I just want this person to come and whisk me away. And we got the full card I just noticed at the bottom of the deck. And it is in reverse. So spirit is kind of saying this is going to be a very hands-on process. <clears throat> and I feel like... It's probably going to go in chronological order like, okay, you're going to end the cycle officially with this person and then this new love is going to come through with this long-term offer. But I, I don't feel like spirit wants to mix these two things because even though that would be very exciting for you to like have two people fighting over you, that could cause you to miss out on a, a new opportunity, especially if this person is, if they know who they are and if they're emotionally healthy, to, they may fight if they really want something, but not for long not for long we have savoring pleasure and following your bliss so i get this energy of spirit telling you to like move and do the things that you want to do if you want to take an acting class but your person didn't support like you wanting to be an entertainer in some way doing that following your bliss or if your life that you want to live in the future is in a different city in a new space it's time to follow your bliss and move there a big part of what's holding you to the future is the fi or sorry the past is the physical proximity if you live in the same neighborhood, the same town, or the same area of that person, it's it's like, man, especially if they're on your route in any way, like if you drive by their house at all, like that, that's, that would just make things so much harder to let go of. And we have savoring pleasure. So this is supposed to be like your me era where you really treat yourself and enjoy yourself and finally just enjoy life and do the things that you've been wanting to do and to like live, you know, to like really live. I embrace fully bliss in my life and my soul sings with joy is what those says, what those say. And that's what I got for you, group three. My Etsy shop is in the description if you'd like a private tarot reading. And that is where you can find me. But that is what came up for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group four with the white stone, this is your reading using the modern witch tarot for you guys today tapping in to see what is going on for you guys in love spirit this is for group four show me what is coming for group four in love <clears throat> Spirit is like, enjoy it, but make sure you don't enjoy it too much. And also don't allow things to go too far. Make sure you're holding yourself uh, accountable when it comes to this relationship. But I see something really good coming in for you. We have this could be the one. Express your love and trust. So this is not a bad person. This isn't someone who's going to waste your time. I think it's just about building a solid foundation where you don't skip on 
building the foundation enough to get to the good stuff. So I just feel like being mindful and conscious of what you're doing and having boundaries set in um, the like uh, as of now before this comes through. It's just going to set you up for success. It's more of a message of setting you up for success versus something to like be scared of or worried about. This could be the uh, one you've already met the romantic partner you seek is what it says at the bottom of that card. That's the only thing I don't like about the romance angels. It factors in time and this is a love prediction. So we're talking about the future. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So again, there's like an energy of you being able to fully love this person, you being able to fully express your love with them, um, to have fun with them, to experience like the joy of having a connection. And it feels very new. It feels different. It's exciting. Trust says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So spirit is wanting you to remain calm. And the best way to remain calm, the best you know, way to remain centered is to make sure that you don't balance and like uh, cause the scales to imbalance at any point. So you don't want to start like, you know, allowing uh, the connection to get really physical because that's going to cause you to feel way more connected to someone. So when something does come up, like naturally when you're joining together with another person and you're learning them, there's going to be things that trigger you or things that you guys disagree on, whatever, whatever. Instead of sending you off the deep end, you can handle those situations properly because you're not fearful of, oh my God, I'm going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, lose out on this person and I've already been physically intimate with them or they're going to leave me and I already love them so much. I already care about them so much. Spirit is wanting you to be fair, but also to allow yourself to have fun. So it's a delicate dance here. We have passion and pay attention to the red flags. Passion says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Pay attention to the red flag says the signs are cautioning you. So there is an energy here of a spirit kind of sending you different warning signs. I just heard through feeling. Um, different feelings are going to arise that are going to tell you about, um, what you should do. So like for an example, if you are, if you share a kiss with someone and it, it, with this, with a person coming in and it gets really, really hot and after the fact you kind of feel guilty or you feel like that was the wrong thing to do, that is spirit telling you, you took things a bit too far with this person. You're not ready for this yet. So you can communicate that to this person. You can pull back if that's what you feel called to do and just not go there again with this person, but pay attention to those feelings. Don't push through it and don't get lost in the sauce of the passion to where you allow it to just, you know, go all the way up uh, just to fizzle out, you know, too quickly. Um, we also have past life relationship here. You have known each other before. Ugh. Dang it. The past life relationships are the hardest one to specifically when it comes to physical, um, when it comes to being physical with the person, like <laughs> typically past life connections make you feel the most like hot and bothered. Um, there's already like a knowing in your spirit of that person. So it does kind of create this energy that it's not a big deal if you kind of take it all the way with them. But just be mindful that you're going to feel very attracted to someone coming into your life uh, probably more than you have to another person either in a long time um, or ever for some of you. What's coming in for love for group four spirit? We got past love and reconciliation. And again, we got that past life love connection. So I don't feel like that's talking. About <laughs> and then we have the past life card that literally came out. So spirit is reiterating. This is a past life love connection that is coming in. We got the past life card from two different decks here. Past love says a lover from your past. Past life says a past life love connection. And then reconciliation says coming back together in love. So you have successfully found someone in this lifetime again. I'm getting an energy that you may dream, you may have dreamt of this person and you may have shared a hug in your dream with that person and it felt like something you had never experienced before. This is someone you've 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 experienced somewhere. Either you felt their energy around you, like as you're living life, or you have, um, I'm not going to take those, I accidentally dropped them, but you may have uh, 
felt their energy like as you're going through life or in a weird way kind of felt that there was a, a protective force around you either in romantic situations or I don't know it's just giving like tuxedo mask energy <laughs> you know how a tuxedo mask would always show up for Sailor Moon well if you haven't seen Sailor Moon then you don't know but uh, tuxedo mask is that dude okay period we stand tuxedo mask um, but yeah, there's just kind of like this protective energy over you, even in the dream space, um, with people or entities, beings trying to connect with you in the dream space, this person may have connected with you or told you certain things, giving you direction in like different dimensions. It feels very kind of high level and complex. Uh, we have clarity, balance, and high standards. Ooh. So this person is, you know, kind of causing you to realize like, okay, maybe what I've been accepting in love is not it because what I'm experiencing now is making me think about add a little, adding a little tax on it. High standard says holding yourself in high regard. There's definitely an energy here of you guys wanting to date people only like this in the future. Like even if you decided, ah, you know, we have a last life love connection, but I'm not going to be with this person. This would, this person would be like the bar after that. And I don't see this ending or anything like that, but just as an example. Balance, walking the middle path, and clarity, realization, and love. So absolutely, I feel like, you know, <laughs> if he wanted to, he would type of energy with this, where it's like, dang, I can't believe that this is what I was experiencing. And I was just telling group one this, it's like, you know, when you're in a bad job, you don't realize how bad the job is until you get out of that job. You wear headphones or you just don't talk to people or you find a way to like still be able to do your jobs and then you go home. But like after you have a new job and you realize like how good it is to work other uh, like in another place, it's just like, dang, my last job was really, really bad or what? Y'all, y'all do what around here? Like y'all treat your employees with respect. Y'all let them know things in advance. <laughs> you know, not the same day customers get to know. You actually, you know, treat your, your people who work for you like, dang, my old place sucked. And it's kind of like that. Like once you get into this relationship, you're looking at your past ones like, holy crap, I didn't even realize how bad they were or just lackluster. <sighs> Spirit, what else can you tell me for group four? We have the High Priestess and the Two of Pentacles in reverse, so some major forever change happening here. You're not going back to the old way you are, you just aren't. Interestingly enough, the Nine of Wands kind of came out sideways, and we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So you may have had a chip on your shoulder about the work that you've done in past relationships, but you seem to have let that go as well. The Nine of Wands, though, was, like I said, sideways, so if you teeter, just know that's normal. Like, if one day you get really pissed and it's hard for you to let go, you, you feel used or you want to rage, you know, uh, about something that you did or how someone took from you, how much they took from you in the past, just know that's normal. Your body will naturally regulate your, itself with, with time, you know, but I, I had, it did come out sideways. So there may be days where you feel really good and empowered and excited for the future. And there may be days where getting this princess or prince special treatment from this person is actually a bit triggering because it creates such a stark contrast between the past and the future and the present and what you're receiving. So we got the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Four swords. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to actually go back to the past. I'm the queen of wands. I know that I deserve better than that. I know what I deserve. But also emotionally, eight of cups, I am still there. I haven't fully moved away from it. And it's not like uh, I'm open to the past. Like I would date someone from the past. But four of swords, it still brings me grief. I feel like that's something you should know because as much, and I was just telling group three about this, like for me, I just need to process my emotions. Like I, you could bring my favorite thing to me. Like I love Thai food, I love to eat. And you could bring me a meal if I'm having a bad day and I will be grateful for it, but it's not gonna change my mood. And personally, I also like, I kind of start to get annoyed if people are just trying to make me happy because that's just how I regulate. I need to process the emotion. It will eventually go away. Don't try to speed it up. Don't try to make me think about something else. Don't cheese in my face. It's gonna piss me off. It's gonna make me more upset. And you guys may be like that as well. So it's kind of confusing to be so like, to, to be so immersed 
immersed in a past life love connection and to feel good about it um, but just know it's normal and it just has to process you know don't feel like there's something still off because I still can't stop thinking about the past that means I need to go back that a lot of people feel that way like I'm in this new life and I'm happy now but I'm still thinking about this that means I need to go back no that just means your body is still regulating your body is still purging that there is a process of transmutation it's not instant um so just know that that's going to be a thing and I feel like that's why spirit brought it up so that you don't start to feel like you need to um make a decision based off it and, and, and go back or let go of this new person trying to treat you <coughs> full kind of came out sideways too you're a bit torn, but ultimately, like some days you move forward. Okay, Spirit just clarified. Some days you move forward, some days you stay in, in place. It's not that you're going backwards, it's just some days you move forward with this person, some days you just need to have some time alone and regulate. But we have the uh, Emperor here. Um, so I feel like, you know, the person coming into your life is emotionally intelligent and they're in um, a healthy enough place personally where um, they shouldn't start taking it against you or anything like that. Yeah, we got the Nine of Cups, which is personal fulfillment. Eight of Pentacles, you're still moving. It is what it is. I keep getting the same energy, so we'll move on and see what else spirit has in store yeah two of wands at the bottom of the deck pretty consistent energy coming up again and again and again nine of cups you're feeling good you are receiving wish fulfillment eight of pentacles you're all in building a relationship with this past life love connection and you know experiencing that and everything but still seven of swords ten of swords in reverse ace of pentacles in reverse there there's a hole in your heart or in your pockets in your energy field this would be a great time to get some reiki done or some restorative aura work um, to repair your your aura and a lot of that does have to happen energetically as well so you just have to allow it but setting the intention to do that will really help but um yeah there there is this energy of um still like ace of pentacles in reverse i feel like that person took too much from me i need to get that back Ten of Swords in reverse, they don't deserve, they're just getting let off the hook. They're not. And those thoughts, though, will drive you into Seven of Swords. That's self-sabotage. That's thinking that you're getting away with something when you're really not, and it's going to come back to you and hurt you. So don't try to play God and, and be karma and hold people accountable. Allow yourself to move forward in your life. If they come back with an apology and that's what they want to do, shoot, even better. Congratulations. Not everybody gets that. But if they don't, you still deserve to move on with your life. Um, and like I said, you know, the truth is you know, everybody wants a shortcut, but a lot of times you, you there isn't a shortcut. You just have to allow that to fully transmute out of your spirit. And, it, and it's going to weigh on you less and less as time goes by and as you don't uh, lean in or fall into those impulses to try to fix it or change things or get your your investment back You know your return back on your investment because I just get this energy with even friends like there may have been a group of people Like maybe you dated someone and then their sister you were friends with as well And then their cousins and whatever you were friends with like everybody in, in their community or whatever and you may have always been bringing over food always having that drink, you know always like filling their cups literally and nothing like and I did all that for all y'all and no none of y'all stood up for me or helped me with this or told them that none, none of you showed up whoo something like that can be very very heavy so let me get a timeline for you but spirit is just putting so much um emphasis on that that we just we have to talk about it spirit what is the timeline for group four Time is on your side, which is good. This is looking like um, it's happening early next year, though. Or it 
could come in sooner rather than later. We have um, Scorpio season, October 24th to November 21st. Um, what is this one? You don't have the time. Time is on your side. So we got Scorpio season and then we got April and May. April and May came out first. So that's what's really making me think that this is going to happen early uh, next year, in the spring of next year. Um, but we also got Scorpio season. So Spirit is saying this could come in any day now. <clears throat> Usually when I get a range like this, that's like about six months. It means that it can come in soon, like as soon as spirit can get you in the same place at the same time as um, this past life love connection, that's that's when it will happen. And also with the past life love connection, the advantage that this kind of connection has is there's like such a supreme magnetism that is really not, like no other that usually past life love connections really don't have to be manifested. And if you do want to manifest it, it can manifest really quick. But Manifestation is so different than what people teach you <laughs> that if you try to manifest it like the ways that you see online, it probably won't happen. So anyways, um, it's something that will naturally come to you regardless. And um, as soon as spirit can kind of get you in the same place at the same time with the person, it will be. We have number eight and we have number 13. These Either of these numbers could be significant to you um, or this could happen on the 8th or the 13th. So look out for those dates. Um, but we did get, oh, we got Wednesday as well. So a Wednesday could be significant. Um, but we have time is on your side and you don't have the time. So there's an energy here of you putting something off and spirit kind of letting you know time is working out in your favor time is on your side you've been ready for a connection for a while now that connection is going to come through um in a, in a way that favors you like sooner rather than later but you don't have the time to do xyz and i feel like you guys would know whatever it is that spirit has called you to do up up until this point Perhaps it's having a conversation with this person of the past if you're still being intimate with them or still seeing them and letting them know that, you know, you're going to go your own way, um, doing some shadow work, whatever it is. We do have breaking barriers, so that kind of to me feels like a, a detachment of some sort, you detaching from someone. I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. There's an energy of acceptance here as well. Acceptance of this is the way that things are. <clears throat> this is how relationships go for me. This is what I should accept. Um, and Spirit is saying if you break through that barrier, it'll also make it like a quite a bit easier for you to step into the trust that something even better has your name on it. We also have proceeding softly. My inner power grows in moments of quietude. So I feel like this is a good time for you guys to go on a retreat. Good time for you to have a girls weekend um, or a, a guys weekend, whatever. Like a weekend with your friends where you kind of just get away, disconnect, going on a social media cleanse, logging out of all your social medias or deleting the apps off your phone so that you don't go on them. Um, and I would say a week, taking a week off to like really reset yourself will help you significantly. Um, and also you being a bit soft with yourself. Maybe you've been really um, harsh with yourself and hard on yourself because when it comes to getting something completed, you really sit in your masculine energy so that things can get done. But when it comes with when it comes to something like this, this is very emotion based. So you can't really go about it the way you would go about like a work situation or a career or a promotion because this is your feelings and your story we're talking about here. So it's something that needs to be treated with love and patience. Um, and that's what spirit is calling, you know, you to extend yourself with that. So that is what I got for you guys. My Etsy is below. If you want a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what came up for you today. I'll talk to you soon.